Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys how to uh, restore your phone from a soft, a soft brick or a boot loop. Uh, a lot of you guys have been playing around with the leaked updates via the Cheesecake application, or I showed some of you guys guys how to uh, update via the P3 Droid leak. Um, and a lot of you guys are playing around with some of these new ROMs, but from the new 893 version of Gingerbread on the Bionic, uh, there is no FXZ file to restore back to stock 886. Uh, so D-Hacker of the Droid Theory team has developed a script uh, for restoring your system back to stock 886. Uh, however, if you've updated to uh, the 893 update, uh, this restore will not restore your baseband or your kernel. It will stay updated. Uh, but the, the main thing is the system will be stock again. So if you needed to return your phone uh, for warranty purposes, you could do that. Or, uh, like I said, if you're bricked or boot looping, you should be able just to flash this uh, 886 system. And that will restore your phone uh, so that it's no longer soft bricked or boot looping. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. You'll want to head to the link in the description and download the released uh, released restore and root and you want to unzip that into a file on your desktop make a new folder and restore its contents into that folder and you're looking for the released root dot bat this is for Windows uh, he also has a Macintosh version uh, so to prepare the phone if you're not bricked you'll want to power down and obviously if you're boot looping or soft bricked, uh, you'll just pull the battery to power down. And you'll need to put the phone into fast boot. The way that you're going to do that is, as soon as this turns off, okay, you'll hold the volume down and press the power and let go. That should put you in fast boot. At this point, you can go ahead and plug your phone into the computer. And with that plugged into the computer, uh, you'll open up the release root.bat. Okay, so it gives you several, several options here. Uh, there's a restore and root with forever root for the Bionic. Restores the system to 886 and wipes data and cache and roots your phone. Then it installs the forever root. Uh, you can just root and forever root if you are not boot looped. You can do that. Or just forever root if you're rooted already. You can do that. Uh, restore Bionic only with no root just restores you back to 886 system. I'm going to go ahead and do this number one. It says uh, please make sure you do the following as uh, telling you that you need to make sure that you have your USB drivers installed. Uh, chances are if you've ever hooked up your phone to the computer and it's read the device and your uh, drivers are installed. If not it tells you where to go to uh, to install those drivers and it tells you to get into fast boot which we've already done. Uh, press any key to continue. So now it's flashing the system. It says it'll take two to five minutes. At this point, I'm going to pause it and we'll come back when it's finished flashing the system. Okay, so it only took a few minutes here, probably two max. It did a few things here. You'll notice uh, it said sending the system. It did that. Then it wrote the system, wiped data and cache, and erased user data. Uh, and then it rebooted my phone. It says I should be at factory 886 system uh, restored. And once it's rebooted, then we can continue to root the phone. Uh, if at any point this asks you uh, if you are bricked, and it'll say, you know, yes or no, that you're either boot looped or bricked. If you want to restore your system, you'll have to say yes. If you say no, uh, it will not wipe data and restore the system. Uh, so it didn't ask me that, but I read on the forums. Uh, some people were getting that question. If they got that question and said no, that it did not restore the phone. If they said yes, obviously it did restore the phone. Uh, so as soon as we boot back up here, we will uh, continue on with this. Okay. So before you move forward, uh, you're going to need to turn on USB debugging. Uh, so I'm going to skip all of this for now. I'll go back in later and add an account. 
but this did restore my phone. I'm back at factory settings here. Like I said, my baseband and kernel are the same. Um, but my system is now .886. And it did remove the ROM that I had installed on the phone. That's all gone. So I'm back to factory settings. Okay. So you want to bring up your settings. And go to applications, development, and check the USB debugging box before moving forward. Uh, make sure that you're in charge only mode. And then we can move forward in rooting the phone. So go ahead and press any key. It says please be sure to turn on USB debugging. As settings application development, we just did that. And USB mode to charge only. Press any key to continue. And some people said that uh, this route did not work on the first time and they had to do it several times. Um, I would suggest just making sure that your USB debugging is on. A lot of times that is what causes it to not work. Okay, so it says that it rooted my phone Okay, so this is wait about 30 seconds and press enter again. It says your phone should be forever rooted and it should all be done. So, and I have, you see there, I have my super user APK, and so now I'm rooted and forever rooted, and my phone has been restored to factory settings. Of course, uh, if you don't want your phone rooted, you can stop uh, whenever the phone reboots there. You don't have to continue and root it. Uh, obviously, if you're taking it back to Verizon for, uh, you know, factory replacement or whatever, you would not want to continue and root it. Uh, but I'm really, really pleased and really impressed with uh, D-Hacker and the Droid Theory team, uh, they've come out with a great script to restore and root your phone very easily and simply. You guys saw how easy that was. Check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in Droid uh, news, ROMs, mods, hacks, etc. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, make sure to click the like button and spread it around to everyone you know. Thanks, guys.